Hi everyone, this is Jean and I'm going to show you how you can do a print and cut with the Silhouette Studio program. So to start, you have to launch the program and this is how it looks like. Kind of reminds me of Cricut Design Studio, the way it loads the fonts and icons, but it is faster. So this is your virtual mat and since I'm going to be printing and cutting a lettering deluxe graphic, I will need to bring that in onto the mat. And to do that, I will click on File, Open, locate my folder, and there is nothing in there. Why? Because I need to change the file type to All Files, and it will show um, autographic. So I am going to be printing and cutting this doll. I click on it and click OK to bring it to the mat to find a giant. And I will need to resize it. I could do that by dragging this corner in or out or I could open the scale window over here click on that and change the dimensions by entering it here I am going to reduce the size the height to say 3.5 I will click enter check the lock aspect ratio and click apply so now it's a baby. I'm going to drag it up like that. So before I print this out, I want to print out the registration marks as well. To do that, I will bring my cursor up to the top right and check the box next to show registration marks. So now you can see that there are actually three registration marks. And I believe that the gray out area is actually the no cut zone. So now we need to do a trace of this doll and to do that I will click on trace which is this blue box thingy select the trace area by drawing a box around the doll and letting go I will uncheck high pass filter and adjust the threshold so that the whole doll is filled with yellow in this case, the threshold will be 100%, like that. Next, I click on Trace, and the trace has been done. Let me show you the cut lines. I will click on this icon, this scissors, I think, that is next to the letter A, to open the cut style. And you can see that these red lines is where the silhouette is going to be cutting. So I do not want the rectangle to be cut out. So I will click on it to select it and I will click no cut to remove that box. So now when I send this into the silhouette, it will not cut the rectangle. Instead, it will just cut the outline of the doll. So at this point, I can um, print out the doll by clicking on this um, I printer icon and of course I will load my cardstock into the printer. It will print out the registration marks and the doll and once that has printed out, I will put this piece of printed cut stock onto the cutting mat, load it into the silhouette, and click on this icon over here to, to send it to, to the silhouette to cut. So basically, that's it. Now, if you want to see how this cutout actually looks like, you're going to gonna have to head back to my blog at underacherrytree.com. And you can see how the cutout looks like, how precise the cut is, and uh, what I did with the cutout later on. Okay, so I'll see you back over there at underacherrytree.com. Thanks. Bye.